Hello to all. My name is Leon Graves. I am IDTA certified, a member of IDTA Barbados, and also the Barbados Dance Council. The Dance Council is trying to give the dancers something to work on while they are trying to deal with this whole COVID situation. And so tonight we will be looking at some basics in ballroom and Latin dancing. To assist me is Caroline and Kevin. Caroline mirrors at Clark and Kevin Blackwood. To start off, we're going to be having a little look at walk actions. Dancing is like walking, but there are some things that we, we have to pay attention to. Now, we're going to do some Latin walks forward first, starting with the left foot. Now, if you're doing a forward walk, the body moves first. Then you release the heel of the moving foot. And as you're almost at the point where you're going to fall over, you catch the weight. That's a walk forward. Conversely, if you were doing a walk backward, the foot goes first. So you will put the foot back, then you will collect the weight. So I'll have Kevin and Carolyn demonstrate forward walks in Latin. Okay, okay. So starting from the beginning again, we will dance two, three, four, one. Then two, three, four, one. That's your forward walk. All right, notice that the weight is forward over the feet. Now we will demonstrate a backward walk. The foot this time will go first. After four, three, four, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That's your Latin rumble walk forward and back. Now at this time, we're going to do a little sequence with the music to demonstrate these walk actions. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, thank you. That's walk actions going forward and backward and also forward walk turning, which I'll talk about later. Now, we are going to do a similar thing in cha-cha-cha. All right, so with the cha-cha-cha, the walk actions are pretty much the same. But then we'll look at the cha-cha-cha, the lock action in the cha-cha-cha. So, start with the walk actions. So, here we go. And uh, four, one, and two, three. Cha-cha, one, two, three. Cha-cha, one. Now, let's just have a look at the Latin cross, the lock step. It is not the same as the ballroom lockstep. As the foot crosses either in front or behind, there is space between the heel and the toe. You do not cross the way you do in ballroom where the feet are like this. There is space and the knees are compressed at the point of crossing. So I'll talk through this again. Three. Four and a one, two, three, cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one. Notice the space between the front and the back foot 
as they do the cross. All right, we will now put together a similar group of what you saw in the rumba. We will have a look at it in the cha-cha-cha. Two, three, and one. Okay. All right. Right. That's a look at your cha-cha-cha walk and also the lock step. Now we're going to have a look at the fan in rumba. Why I'm looking at this figure is because the lady's last step in the fan position is back. But many times when I see it, that is not the position that I see. So I just want to reinforce the basics here. So we'll have a demonstration, a walkthrough first. And here we go. And two, three. Shut. Okay, can we have that again, please? Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. And two, three, four, one. Please note that the lady's last step is back. And here's your beautiful fan from finger of the man to finger of the lady. Now we will dance this to music and we will combine it with the hockey stick. Thank you. Good. All right, we will now change to do some ballroom figures. And first we're gonna have a look at the ballroom hold. Because if you're dancing as a couple, how you do and what you do will affect or can affect your partner. Since you're trying to dance as one, there are some basics that we need to get right. So, as the man extends his left hand and asks the lady to dance, she says yes. Note that he has his fingers go around the lady and the, uh, the, the fingers are interlocking. The lady is slightly to the man's right side. The shoulders are level right across. You keep that shoulder line and it should stay that way throughout your dance, as long as you're in a closed position. This represents your ballroom hole. Just like the cha-cha-cha, steps forward, the body will move first, and if you're going backward, the foot goes first. Now, can we have a set of close changes, just close changes going forward as a couple and notice that Carolyn foot will go first as Kevin body will start the movement two three and a one two three and a one two three and one two three thank you now we're going to have a look at a um, the whisk. We're going to do the whisk because I've observed that that figure there is lowering at the end of the whisk which is too early. So we're going to get this couple to do 
the whisk as man and ladies two three one two three notice that they are still up at this point they will lower at the end of the step and go into a chassis and one two and three now kevin and carolyn can you please demonstrate for me the way you should not do it it will drop down at the end of two three one two three now that is what you should not do should be up on three lower at the end of the step as you move into the next figure okay now can we have just a little bit of music there waltz Thank you. Now you'll add another figure to the waltz, which is the natural spin turn. So first we'll have a demonstration. And I want to, I need you to remember that there is a pivot by the man on step four of the spin turn and the lady with the a pivot in action. So here we're gonna go from one to three ahead. One, two, three. Now the man does a pivot here and the lady does a pivot in action. Two, three, and one, two. Okay. All right, let's have a look at all of that. <laughs> Just how many pivot. So here we go. Spin turn. Step four for the man is a pivot, and for the lady, a pivot in action. Two, three. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. All right. Can we have that just one more time? Man will go back left foot, toe turning, and pivot, and the lady will pivot on. Pivot in action on her right foot. Two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. All right, we're going to put together all that we've done in the waltz, which will be close change. I oh, have one more figure to do. One more figure. The natural reverse turns with the person going backward on the second step doing a pointing step and I'll demonst we'll demonstrate what, what I'm saying. Now, we're gonna go straight into the natural turn and Carolyn will point on step two. Two, three, here we go. One, two, three. And now it's gonna be Kevin's turn. Two, one, two, three. Okay, so can we have all of that without stopping? Natural turn. And then you go straight into the reverse turn. Two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Now the reverse. Two, three, and one, two, three. Thank you. All right, let's put together everything we've done in the waltz to music. All right, Camilla. Thank you. 
Now we're going to have a look at the quick step. And a few areas of concern. Let's first dance the lock step. So this couple will demonstrate the lock step. Three, four. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Now take note, the man is leading with his left side. That will force the la their lady's right side back. And he's positioned himself at the beginning that he can easily step outside the lady at this point. All right. So can we have that again? Also note that the, four, the footwork, you're going upward over three steps. Three, four. Quick, quick, slow. The last three steps of that figure were done going up. You lower the end to continue into your next figure. Okay. Now we're going to do before that lock step a, prog a progressive chassis. So that's your quarter turn to right progressive chassis. And Kevin is going to do it the way he shouldn't do it at first. Three, four. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, stop. Now he's in trouble. He can't get his lock step done because he didn't have that necessary side lead, which will force the lady's right side back that he can step outside of her. So now we're going to have a demonstration of what he should do so that the next figure is easy to get done. Three four and slow quick quick slow slow quick quick slow outside quick quick slow beautiful good now we're gonna have this couple demonstrate to music and the lady will also have a chance to do her lock step going forward it is not a it's not a case where the lady is always going backward. It can be either or. Quick step. Yeah. I started off fairly. Right, so that was a look at some of the basic figures that you'll come across within your first few months of dance. And you probably heard all that I've said before. But then sometimes these things get lost as you try to do the more advanced figures and you, it becomes a, a, a problem. It, it affects your quality of dance. So that was my contribution to remind you of some of the basic things that are very, very important to really make your dancing look, look good. Thank you, Kevin and Caroline. Thank you so much.